my love views welcome back to my channel and a brand new video oh yeah, so please don't ask why i did the head thing i, I don't know um <clears throat> so the time by the time you're watching this um there's either still stuff going on um, still stuff going on in my life that's not great or you know about it already i don't know oh you've had no idea because this is up before i've explained the stuff going on <laughs> i need the toilet but i've just come downstairs because i want a hot chocolate and i never really make one because i'm never really in the mood um but Something's round the corner and I end up craving chocolate and there's like no other chocolate stuff in the house and I really fancy a hot chocolate. So yeah, so you will end up um, either knowing what's going on or not knowing. I don't know. I'm trying not to wake everybody up. Lucas and I are the only ones awake, so, really, you know when there's something in your mug, like whatever was in there, is now out i'm really gross this is why i hate like putting my mug anywhere upstairs because things just fall me it was only fluff we are low on hot chocolate and you probably sat or stood there thinking like excuse well stop drinking it I've barely had any, guys. Honestly, it's the first time having hot chocolate at home, that is, in a long time. Um, but yeah, honestly, it always tells you how to make it on the back of these things. And they say to just add water. But it tastes so good when all you do is add milk and heat it up. And there's only so much milk we have, guys. So I'm not going to be going crazy. <clears throat> But do, if you want to, comment down below what your favourite way is to make hot chocolate. What you like to add to yours, your favourite brand. Literally, obviously, I like the um, Cadbury's Classic Hot Chocolate. But that's so expensive right now, guys. It's so expensive. Like, last time I bought it, four pounds when this was 150 or less and it has the same amount in obviously it's not Cadbury's hot chocolate but it and it does happen to be Tesco's but I like it a lot so I do add um quite a fair bit of milk and I do have some marshmallows that I will be putting on the top, which look really good. They're just the classic pink and white ones that are actually from Tesco. So we do have two four pinters, but I don't want them to go too crazy. But yeah. Anyway. I wanted to have a little catch up with you guys to see um, how you're all doing, what you've all been up to. Um, I've not really explained myself yet. Um, I don't know whether I have or not by the time you watch this one. Um, I've got one video that I'm still working on and I've got one that i finished. i just yet to edit it and upload it. But literally, the camera um, on my phone is um, 
dead at the moment absolutely dead i just spilled some and it's got to the point where it's like i don't want to start <clears throat> i'm having it upload well uploading and the camera being basically dead so it looks like a milkshake doesn't it but it's not it's just a hot chocolate so then what i do like to do sometimes is as i like to put um milk in here put it in the microwave for a few seconds froth it up and then put it in and it looks great and it's amazing i can't be bothered to do that plus it's had coffee in it and it does genuinely need cleaning so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna fill the meat meek i was gonna say the milk right near the top um i wasn't gonna do that but it does taste unreal doing it that way and i can't think of anything better it is currently coming up to one in the morning um i always stay up till one this time i don't know what it is i just i struggle to sleep and i think well and I've tried going to bed early loads of times and it's just, I need to try either going to bed early a lot more times or just getting some sleeping tablets or something because I try for ages. Whether I'm having a nightmare or just a normal night, it takes me so long and sometimes you know i can go to bed uh 10 half 10 and try and get some sleep and i don't always manage until gone 12 and that's not even a joke like <laughs> especially with stuff that's going on right now which um i don't want to keep repeating myself but you either know or you don't know and that's just how it is it's more likely that you haven't got a clue. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave um, for about two minutes. I know that sounds like a long time, but our microwave isn't the best of microwaves. Um, it's on its way out, so um, that's pretty much how we're doing it. So I'm going to pop it in for the two minutes. And then when it's done, give it another stir. And then I'm going to add my marshmallows on the top. And it's going to be so good. And then we just sit down for a bit of an extra long chat. Some of you might have wondered, actually, why there's this, like, background. Um, it's not. We don't have an, a clothes horse at the moment. I went to um, take it down um so that i could clean in the area that it was and at the time we didn't need to use it and the whole thing not joking the whole thing collapsed and it's no good and we were going to get a new one and then we didn't we've been using the radiators until we can get a new one and then eventually we are actually going to get a whole new tumble dryer so this is my duvet which you've probably seen loads of times when I've been on the bed. Um, which is from Primark. It's inside out at the moment. It's absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. It's dry so it can go on the bed tomorrow. Which is amazing. We were supposed to put another one on the bed. Um, to have a break from having that one. But this, it just didn't happen. Um, <clears throat> that's nothing to do with what is going on privately um i just it just didn't happen um but yeah we are currently waiting for this the background of the um back doors reminds me of when people do their live streams and and um people a lot of comments come flooding through saying 
oh what's that behind you oh my god there's something behind you oh i'm scared they're doing it to get a reaction out of people and well it doesn't work it's what you see behind me is the light the reflection of the light <laughs> oh should we try my hot chocolate I don't have cream or anything like that. Um, but that's the only thing I'd say it's missing. But there are times where I have a hot chocolate and I, I just don't want cream. I love the, <clears throat> the marshmallows are literally melting in with the hot chocolate and it makes it taste so good so I thought I'd sit finish my hot chocolate um and have a small little chat with you guys um I would say give you an update on my life um only in the bits that i feel ready to share with you because i feel like the stuff that's going on i won't share it for a long time so um you just have to be patient with me it's something that i it's so the wounds are still out there like it's still fresh you know pick a carrot out the ground fresh okay um i also want to discuss that it's okay to not be okay little reminder um i have a lot of occasions where i happen to not actually be okay and then i have days where I'm actually all good. <clears throat> so some of you guys um, asked, well, I've had a lot of people ask one particular question at the moment. And I hadn't answered anyone just because of the fact that there is a video um, coming out very, very soon. Um... I say that it may not be coming out, uh, it may not, well it will be coming out soon but it may not have um, the end of it that I hoped or at least planned for. Um, so what I'm going to do is explain at the end why it's got a different ending to what I planned and you will um, understand. So <clears throat> the question that a lot of people are asking me at the moment on all my socials um, is if you do not have COVID, why are you self-isolating? and <clears throat> that has been answered it's just not the answer i haven't finished answering it and there is a video coming out soon a lot of you on tiktok are so desperate to find out um i will be sharing clips of it onto my tiktok once it's on youtube first guys um, I'm not putting anything on Instagram because that's, I've not shared anything on there to do with it. I use that to post my pictures because I love taking pictures. Um, it's something I'm really passionate about, you know. And I wouldn't want to um have a different topic i've kept it mostly photos and i wanted that to stay like that 
I don't want to put things on there. It's nothing to do with that subject. Um, <clears throat> I do have another Instagram, which is a Sims one because, well, I'm obsessed. <laughs> so that's just the one big main, one of the top big main questions that a lot of people have been asking me um, because of videos that I've been putting on TikTok and other things etc etc and some who watch and know me from there have come onto this platform and asking me again guys I'm not ignoring you I just can't reveal it yet the video's on its way it will reveal all explain everything and it's a really long-winded video um so <clears throat> please be prepared um but yes i'm working on it and it is a really long video i haven't finished it yet because um due to stuff um but you will find out why um you know that will answer and explain this right now um so i finished my hot chocolate it was actually so good um it's so so good um i may end up needing to go up go and then coming back because um it's really warm in here and i may have to move to a completely different room but you know it is what it is um i need to cool down so i will see you but that will answer why i have a different background it will be because i'm in a different room um or i could come back down here um i don't know yet so i am back um i am still really hot <laughs> i think it's because where i am I went upstairs and came back down, but I've done it really quick. <laughs> so, the next popular question that I get asked, I would say just as much as um, the first one, is if I still talk to my mum. Now, I've been avoiding it for a long time because of the fact that it's not because I didn't want to answer or that I felt that you guys shouldn't know it was more the fact that it's private and um i don't think um she would want to be talked about in this kind of way a lot have asked would you try your relationship with her again you know similar type of things um a how many months ago was it like either last month or the month beforehand, my brother had a letter um come here to this house, um, which obviously was strange because he doesn't live here. He hasn't lived here for I would say over two years now. He does actually live with mum. Um, sorry, I'm really warm. Anyway. So, um, I went round, um, to post it through the door, obviously, to give it to him. He knew about this. I, I said to him so that I could make sure that he was in, so that, um, the dog doesn't take it. Not that she's ever been known to have done that. Um, but, you know, I wanted to make sure that... He was there to receive his letter. Um, anyway, so I posted it through the door and the door opened and I thought, oh, okay. And my brother had answered the door. He said, hi, how are you? And my mum didn't want me standing out in the cold. So <clears throat> she let me in. Um, we had a little catch up. We chatted and, you know, that was it. And um that that felt really odd really strange because 
we hadn't spoken in a really long time and that's just why it felt strange but that was it really you know there's nothing more to say about it there's no juice as people wanted a lot of people were hoping for a bit of juice a bit of gossip a bit of drama and there's none of that like it was cool like it was all right um <clears throat> She had a friend over who knows me really, uh, I say really well, known me a long time. <clears throat> they said hi, and I said hi, and um, obviously my brother um, was in the middle of pre-preparing um, Sunday roast, so it happened to have been on a Saturday. Um, the dog was all over me. She was so cute and so happy to see me. She kept trying to lick me at any chance she had. Um, she knew my smell straight away. She didn't even have to hear my voice. She knew it was me and it was so cute. Um, um, yeah, anyway, so that more or less answers it. There was nothing um, bad between me or my mum. We just had a little catch up and a little chat um we just it wasn't very long you know um dad was in the car and i didn't want to keep him waiting we had to get home so we could you know sort our own dinner out um assuming that we hadn't had dinner yet i can't remember i don't remember a lot from back then to be honest um <clears throat> that's just how it was i don't remember a much it still felt really weird and it still feels weird today um mum was um quite chatty i was quite chatty there's not a lot more to say about it um so in the next um really popular question is um do i have a favorite man gang member and why because i talk about man gang a lot um i think they're incredible what they do is incredible um the guy who started it you know is amazing if it wasn't for him who started it I, um i wouldn't have met them myself um I only get a chance to see them on a Saturday because the walks that they do is open to everyone. So I get to join in, I get to meet them all and I love to do that. They are so, so amazing. And yes, I do have a favourite Mangang member. Um, yes, I do. Um, he was there Saturday. I wasn't because I'm self-isolating. The one week I don't go, he turns up and I hadn't seen him in ages and I was really upset about it. I did cry a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, no. So yes, I do have a favourite. Um, I won't say his name in case he doesn't actually want me to. Um, he doesn't know I'm doing this. So, <laughs> um, And the reason why is because... He's heard my past. I, I, I explain, not explain myself, but I basically said how I got where I am today and things that I went through, the bad stuff that I went through with the bullying that I went through and everything else. And he just walked with me and he listened. He heard me out. He understood me. He has a soft spot for me, apparently. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I won't get emotional. <laughs> um, he, well, he opened up to me about him and his situation before I opened up. And it helped me to open up myself. Like, this is a guy from Man Gang who is used to, I'm guessing, used to opening up to men, because obviously it's men only normally, 
and he knew um, Dad beforehand, obviously, and he met me for the first time, and wow, <laughs> he opened up to me and told me a lot. I don't know if it's all of it, not my business, um, but he built that trust up to start opening up and telling me more things and I built my trust up I was just like he trusts to tell me this knowing that it's gonna stay between us you know and it made me trust him thinking I can tell him things like he can trust me I know I can trust him now and we have such a good friendship I miss him so much. Like I've not seen him in ages. He's a, such a dear friend to me. Um, every time we see each other, like <laughs> we we always end up singing about something more him than me. Last time I saw him, we like had our arms around each other, and we were walking down our local woodland area. Well, mine more than his. It's more closer to me than it is him. And we were singing, I'm off to see the wizard. And I got the words wrong. And he took the mick out of me. And I thought it was really funny. And I can't remember if we tried to carry it on. But we have such a laugh every time. And I can get away with crossing the line. And that's our friendship. And I love it. And I'm nearly getting emotional. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> um, that person's my favourite. And that's why. And so much more. And if it wasn't for that person. I would not have stood in front of the stage seeing that guy. Um... <laughs> Like, he's just so kind, so sweet, and, you know, people thank me for when I say nice things about him, but he's a nice guy, like, it's gonna happen, do you know what I mean, and he's so lovely, I do not know how he's single, like, it's, you know, he just, somebody will love him for who he is, a lovely, lovely woman, will just, when he's not expecting it, will come into his life and just love him because you can't help it. Like, you just love him. And when I was told recently, uh, last week actually, by another Man Gang member, he has a soft spot for me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Um, that other guy is also incredible, he said that, um, we both have a love for Elton John, so, of course, we're gonna get on, oh, I need to get over all that, I need a minute, I do, scale me for a minute, I think I've had my minute and I think I'm ready to carry on, oh my gosh, so sorry, so, the next, I would say, I say popular, next question that's asked a lot is you never have your hair down, why is it? I don't like my hair getting in my face. Um, I just don't like it getting in my face, okay? That's, don't like it. And I can have it down, but I need to straighten it or just style it in some way or I, just, I don't like it. And I should love my natural hairstyle. Like, having it down, brushing it, doing nothing else. But I don't. And I just... I need to learn to love my hair. <laughs> oh. And that's it. The next one is, why are you not fun? I am the queen of fun. I just don't have enough confidence to show it on here as much as I'd like to. But trust me, I am fun. I hear a song pop up in my head, you know, and I, I'm dancing, and everyone's probably staring at me like, why is she dancing? She's dancing to nothing. Oh no, Neil Diamond. <laughs> that song has got to have been stuck in my head for ages, and you know who you are, and it's all your fault. 
Reaching out. <laughs> oh, God. Touching me. Honestly. Stop it. Right. What was I saying? I can't remember the question. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I am fun, right? I am. I can have music on whilst I'm washing up. I'm singing and dancing as if I'm on stage, mate. But no one sees it because, like, no. <laughs> if I could record myself but forget I'm recording and just do what I do when I'm washing up and watch it back, I could do with a laugh. I may have to just hide my phone, have it... <clears throat> on video put some music on in here and forget i'm filming and go for it and just watch myself back and have a laugh and i'll post it you know i do post well not on here i don't but i'm literally i sing in the shower and i sing what do i sing in the shower What was the last person? I sang Neil Diamond in the shower. That's why it's in my head. Reaching out. Okay, stop it. <laughs> that song's in my head because I sang it in the shower. And yeah, I might have a bath every night. Apart from Wednesday, because Wednesday's when I have a shower because I like to wash my hair. And I'm just saying, the best bubble bath is Imperial Leather. Go and get some. That and Radox. I live for both of them. And I have just run out of shower gel. Not shower gel, bubble bath. Actually, I run out of both. What am I talking about? I run out of both. <laughs> I can't have a bath tomorrow. Oh, my God. Am I supposed to have my bath tomorrow? I'll just go out and buy a shower gel. It's not that big of a deal. Like, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> oh, the Imperial Leather, by the way, is the limited edition one. You know that marshmallow one with the cute little face on it? That face. Oh. It's not called Marshmallows, though, is it? It's got some other name. But I know it's pink with a marshmallow. And the other one... Don't know what it's called, but it's got a dark burgundy lid that really helps. The Radox ones I used last time, they were men's, but I didn't care. I was clean at the end of the bath, that's all that mattered to me. And they still smelled good, so, um, you know, people came up to me like, that sm you smell like a man, and I'm like, Mhm. Mm they were like, "What have you done?" And I was like, "Oh," and they're like, a, "A new body wash or something?" And I was like, "Oh, maybe." And then they got home. I was like, "Oh, I might have a bath actually. It's getting towards night time. Oh, get my Radox. Oh, it's for men. Oh, okay. I like it. All right. I don't care. <laughs> so <clears throat> there is." Um, is it two more? Yeah, two more up there questions that are, like, really up there. The next one is someone's asking, a lot of you are actually asking me how my diet's going. Um, well, what diet? I mean, I keep trying to start a diet, but the motivation, it just flies out the window, and I no, I try, okay? Walking once a week doesn't really cut it. I mean, cut. But I, I, oh, I do try. But I am a chubby girl. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. I have lost weight, okay? I've lost weight. It's just not a lot of weight. So when you run out of space and the video clip... And in the middle of recording just stops like that and you don't know why and then your phone just tells you 
yeah, that just happened. And I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> what was I talking about? Help me. Oh, what about my diet? <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to find, not find, but I need to just, I need to be motivated to actually continue what I've started and follow it through properly, because I do try and eat healthily, but then I start my monthly and all I can think about wanting is all the wrong things like the chocolate, I mean, I've had a hot chocolate just like a, a few minutes ago, you saw me make it, and, you know, it's crisps, which I don't really, I have more crisps than chocolate at the moment, I haven't had crystal chocolate in a good few weeks, shall we say, because to go a month without either of them, it's, that's not happening, do you not know me? <laughs> But no, I do want to take it seriously to try and lose more weight for myself. Um, so I just I I'm sick of walking um at the top of my stairs and then getting into bed and you know, feeling really hot, not out of breath, but I feel like if I walked to the top and then back down and then forgotten something and then had to go back to the top, I think then I'd be out of breath. And I, I don't want that. <clears throat> and plus, if I ever was to have children in the future, I would want to set them a good example. I wouldn't want them to see a plus-size mum who struggles to do things day-to-day -day if she carries on eating and the lack of exercise the way she's doing like it does scare me you know I know people that can walk from the bottom to the top of their stairs and get really out of breath and breathe really heavily it's if they run around the block five times and I don't want to be that person and I know there's a saying about being big and beautiful like I don't, <clears throat> I don't like that saying in a way because, you know, there's a really popular sound that's been on TikTok where it, where this man or this woman gets <clears throat> um, fat shamed and everyone was saying, oh, but you're beautiful. She said, but I was told I was fat, not ugly. And I just think, when someone's fat-shamed, why people put things, oh, but you're beautiful. I, just, I, I don't think that's how you really do that. I don't like it. You know, I know everyone says, oh, you're beautiful, whatever shape or size you are. Yeah, but don't, I wouldn't put them in the same category, Um, in my opinion. I'm plus size. I can, I've been um, a lot slimmer than this, um, I mean a lot slimmer, and I am the size I am now, and I feel beautiful, whatever, but I do have days where I don't feel beautiful, but you know, I have that one day out of the whole week and weekend, that I actually dress up, and every other day, I just don't bother, I just... It's not because I don't want to or I don't feel motivated. I just have days where I just want to stay in my pyjamas. If I know I'm not going out anywhere and I do want to dress up a little bit, I might have my hair down. And that's as glamorous as I'm going to get unless I'm actually going out to a special occasion then I will go full glam, honey. I will. <clears throat> I said two more, so and I've answered one of them, which now leaves you with one more. Um, I don't know when this will be uploaded, so <laughs> I've got so much I'm working on, I can't even tell you. <clears throat> so, the next question 
um, was actually asked um, a really long time ago. And I don't know if I actually answered it or not. I'm not sure if I did. But the question is who are my favourite YouTubers? And um, it was a family that I used to watch that I've been subscribed to since 2015, which is the answer that if I answered this before, which I believe I have, the answer I gave would have been the Ingham family. But now it changes depending on the mood I'm in, who I'm watching at the time. Because I have phases where I can watch them every day because they upload every day. Um, and then phases where, you know, I can watch them religiously. Like, I am not going to miss a vlog. And then I have times like right now where I haven't watched them in ages and I've no idea what's going on. I know they're travelling at the moment. I press the notification bell. I've read their titles. I more or less have an idea, but I have I don't and I've gone for a long phase of not watching their videos because I've been trying to <clears throat> learn to watch other people because to be honest, I have subscribed to so many people. There's a lot of people to catch up on. And recently I have been um, watching a different family, the family Fizz. Um, I went through a massive, massive phase of not watching them. I'm watching them on and off at the moment. I watched their video earlier where they went to different motorway services and all like for 24 hours having food and i don't want to say too much in case you watch them and haven't seen it um but i don't really i'm not really into like family channels as much as i used to be when i was younger like now i'm older and i'm growing up and I kind I watch a lot of <clears throat> um young people that are just starting out in life. That is just my vibe at the moment. Like I finished the whole season two of Locked In. Um, I watched it each time an episode came out. I didn't miss one. I've not had to catch up or anything. I got really into it. This is me hinting that if I make it. That's what I really want to do. It's on my bucket list. Um, the bucket list in my head. I've not actually wrote anything down. In case like it doesn't actually happen. So, I don't know. But if I actually was to make it one day. That would be something I would love to do. Because I watched and voted for Anna. And <clears throat> I was honest. Um, at the very beginning i thought spuds was going to be really effing annoying but he turned out to not be as annoying as i first thought as in i saw a lot of what i'm actually like off camera and i saw the usual funny side and i saw a nice calm chill side like he gave me real chill vibes, like, I could vibe with him, like, he was so good, and he wasn't as annoying as I thought, um, it was just my first impression, and I judged him too soon, and I feel like a lot judged probably all of them too soon, those that hadn't seen any of them before, or at least some of them, I'm watching it, Anna was the only person i actually knew obviously i'm a fan of her i watch her every time she uploads a video um if i'm out and about and she's uploaded then i will catch up when i get home you know um i watch her best friend saf i subscribe to her brother's um channel I, every sunday i watch the sidemen i think they're incredible 
um, the other channel, Chav Crew, which was the name for a joke. Um, I would love that to be just as successful as the Sidemen. Um, I dream big and I really need to start dreaming with smaller goals and try that and see if they work out first. Honestly, my favourite obviously is JJ. I watched him from his the get go literally when he started with FIFA videos, like that's a long time. And then his brother Deji started doing content and I subscribed to him to show support to his brother. And I watched both of them. Deji hasn't uploaded in a while. He's having a break for those who didn't know. I watch a lot of people. Um, and back then, my favourite was the Ingham family. I suppose still kind of is, even though I haven't seen their videos in many months now. I, I do this. Um, I would say <clears throat> um, my favourite now does still vary depending on who I'm in the mood for but I watch an, a lot of people and I'm a big fan of a lot of people and right now it's actually really difficult to pick a favourite um, but the person that I'm watching a lot of at the moment is there a person or a group of people I'm watching a lot of right now um, the Wilson family, Tiana and her family. I'm watching a lot of them at the moment. They're uploading on the regular. So if I really had to pick, I would say right now it's them. But otherwise, pretty much, it does depend on my mood. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, you got a small catch up. And you got me to answer some questions that keep being asked to me on the regular. And if you guys have any more questions that um, you've asked a lot that you're like, why can't she answer it? Then, you know, I will try my best to answer them. Um, you can make them juicy. Um, like, what's an example or if it's juicy. I don't know, but you're not daft. I think you can come up with some juicy questions. Um, you know, like that question to do with mum. I, I wouldn't call it juicy, but it was definitely one that I purposely avoided for ages because I don't want her to feel that I keep dragging her up when you know it's not fair she doesn't need the drama do you know what i mean but there's not been any do you know what i mean um but yeah i'm gonna end it here thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody